Hello. I'm speaking at Harvard tomorrow. And that doesn't feel like a real sentence coming out of my mouth. But for tonight, I'm so in my feels. This year, I had such high hopes for 2024 because 2023 was so hard. But we're not even two months in and 2024 is making 2023 seem like a cakewalk. Like, I take back all the bad things I said about 2023 because there's been... Yeah, 2024 is age me, <laughs> and, and it's February, so I've been really unwell, um, mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, just, like, at this point, it's not even in the trenches, like, I've, I've really been describing it as the underworld, like, sub, sub-zero, like, negatives to the negatives, like, below, like, the depths of hell is I feel like where I had been and I feel like everyone else is really happy and I'm so happy everybody else is so happy but I've been going through so much on like every aspect of my life and I'm trying to be grateful and I'm just trying to appreciate this moment because they can't believe me my little immigrant first gen who like never even knew anything about college let alone like ivy leagues let alone harvard or whatever like i can't believe i'm gonna be speaking there tomorrow but i felt like if i just were to start this vlog and talk you through like the day tomorrow it wouldn't feel real and i told you guys like i've I really never want my life to be fake and make other people feel like shit because they compare to my little highlight reel that I post on social media. So I just felt like I needed to start off this video by actually giving you the hard truth, which is I'm so unwell. And all I want to do is like fuck off to Madrid. But I haven't been able to because I'm in Boston. And so you know it's bad when i need to be in madrid <laughs> but yeah hopefully the rest of the video is happier than this but i just wanted to tell you guys that if you're also having a really hard year in 2024 you're not alone and i see you and i'm sending you a big hug good morning sunshines i don't want to get out of bed it's like 10 I think I've been up for three hours. I don't want to get up because it looks cloudy outside. Don't judge me, but instead of going to brunch, I decided to order bagels and have it be door dashed. I just could not be bothered to be outside and I already know I need to go to campus. So I just want to stay inside as long as I can because it's freaking cold. My work self from last night made me wake up this morning so anxious and when I get anxious I get nauseous and it's just not what I need. I'm not even anxious about fucking Harvard, I'm anxious about work, like, be fucking for real. It's the thing that the DoorDash delivered and this place has like a ground floor street entrance which then when you go on the fourth floor brings you to the hotel lobby they left it on the ground floor they just left it they just sent me a picture of it like basically in the street <laughs> like yeah, i'm like trying to find socks i'm like still in pjs so i could go try to grab it who does that <sighs> who does that who does who does that who does that? Like, ground street. And I had tipped well. I had tipped well. My order was like 10 bucks. I had tipped well. I'm like, <laughs> he just loves it. Oh my God. And my pingy came. I'm like, hello? Did you just abandon it? He's like, it's in the hotel lobby. I'm like, what floor? He's like, the ground floor. I'm like, that's not the hotel lobby. I was like, Oh my god. 
is out here and of course everyone's checking out so i'm just out here like <laughs> i don't need i'm like so on edge that like any minor inconvenience like the smallest life inconvenience is like so ready to set me off maybe we should do that after taste test <laughs> oh my god I got ice. I don't know why I got ice. Because you know, no, I know why I got ice. Because I like my hot drinks to be third degree level burns. And I was like, by the time it gets to me, it won't be hot enough. So I was like, if it's ice, it's so cold, the ice isn't gonna melt. So grow math. So it's like 10 degrees outside and I'm drinking an ice drink. Let me stop. Okay. It's okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, maybe the bagel will be better. I'm from New York, so like, I don't think anything's gonna be considered an absolute bagel, Bobby. But I was just really craving a bagel and I was gonna try to get one yesterday before the airport but I just didn't have time. Everything toasted with cream cheese. Plain cream cheese. I'm okay. The ratio looks good. The ratio is giving. The ratio is giving. What is this? What is this? I used to have curly hair. No. This is what happens if I don't do anything with it. So this is why we curl it. And not even something you're not something that you despise. Like <laughs> that. <laughs> Because also Lakva is kind of a little bit unfair in her tongue as well. Yeah, see, that's the thing that's hurting me. Inside. Anybody watching Love Island? Because this season has been really cringe and really hurtful. I feel like they're ganging up on people and bullying people a lot. Like, justice for Georgia and Toby. Justice for Georgia and Anton. Relationships look different to different people and I feel like some of them like Callum and Josh and Sophie just feel like they're the cool kids and like get to just I don't know like have opinions on everybody else but nobody can have an opinion on them like relationships are not easy and they're fucking hard and Georgia H and Anton are like figuring shit out but if you've been in bad relationships and you end up with like an actually good person it's really hard for you to be happy and accept it and think that you deserve it and your brain is so used to the toxicity and the ups and downs and the drama that when somebody safe comes around you end up self-sabotaging it and i like totally recognize that in georgia h and it's not her fault say with georgia and toby like i feel like georgia just really been into toby i feel like toby seemed like she wasn't that in he wasn't that into her so she took a step back and then like toby realized his feelings and then was ready to talk about it and then when she realized he had feelings she let herself go there even though she was trying to like guard herself because she didn't want to get hurt like i feel like people are being so mean to them and it makes me sad because this is still like real life people and i can't imagine being stuck in a house with people that are like bullying you and all talking shit about you and you're just trying to focus on being happy i don't know if you're not watching this new season then you're not caught up nothing i'm saying is gonna make sense you don't think there's so, anything between me and you mm, not really no like I'm, 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 I'm that's well that's my opinion well, that's my opinion this is so sad he's like getting in her head like 
this is i don't know this is making me so sad because you could tell she's finally trying to be securely attached and she's finally trying to be healthy and she is trying to give it a chance with anton and her best friend getting in her head about it and saying like you're not that into him he's not that into you you guys are just the only options each other had and everyone's talking shit about you but no one's saying it to your face like she got so sad like who does that like if you're actually somebody's friend you would never fucking do that like yes you should always keep it real with your friends but like you also need to give them a chance to make their own decisions and or mistakes because that's just life i can't believe i'm speaking at harvard today i have no idea what i'm wearing what do we think is this giving girl boss What do we think? Do I wear pants? I don't know. I can't decide if I should do pants. I'm literally wearing it over the dress. I have a different top I could wear with it. But that one's off the shoulder and I kind of like how high neck this is. And I will say wearing the pants does make me feel more covered. the vibe I want to go for is like the girl in the office everybody has a crush on you know what I mean now do I give more of that vibe with the pants or the dress it's just that the dress feels short and I feel like every time I'm sitting I'm gonna be like you know what I mean I just want to focus on like the thing and the talk and not have to be in my head about I don't know could be a colors do not go but I think I might wear it anyways because she's so pretty I'm texting my sisters for advice let's see which one they say oh my god it just finished I was like I'm literally in this big room that was probably one of my favorite things I have ever done in my life. The girl stayed an hour and a half later to talk to me and ask me questions. And I just stayed to make sure I got a chance to talk to everybody. And oh, I just wanted to hug all of them. They asked the best questions and I'm so glad I did this. I need to go try to find food and water, but I'm just processing it all still and my heart is honestly just so 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 happy and it was such an incredible experience and the conversations I had and the questions that they asked were so incredible and looking back at it it just feels like such a weird like full circle moment and i think i struggled so much during undergrad and my masters and like still struggling <laughs> not, not to say that the struggle ever stopped but i feel like i have always felt so lost and i felt like everybody else has always had it together and i've just been trying to figure out what i wanted and where i fit in and what i wanted to do and it feels so insane to now be able to use that to try to tell and share my story and share that like you don't need to have it together it's okay if you're lost and it's okay if you don't know what you want to do and it's okay if you're getting rejected and it's okay if the interviews aren't working out i just all of those have felt so isolating and shitty for me in the moment going through them and now being able to help other people try to navigate it and also just let them know that they're not alone just feels like such a full 360 moment and I think life right now feels really challenging for very different reasons and I'm really excited about the day hopefully that I can look back on all of the shit that's going on now having have gotten through it looking back and been like you know what that sucked but I got through it this is what helped me get through it and then like then being able to share that with other people thinking about it and I think I have navigated so much of life feeling 
alone and feeling like I've had to figure it all out on my own and I've realized what I've been doing lately is being the person that I wish I had and being what I needed and being a uh, saying the things I wish somebody had said to me so being able to do that and then hearing on the other side that it's resonating with people fully makes me feel like I went through all of that shit so I could try to make that easier for somebody else and if that's why I needed to go through shit then that's why I needed to go through shit at least it means something and at least it could save somebody else from feeling so lonely and isolated and having to go through that and it just I genuinely my heart feels so at peace in a way that it hasn't and I feel such joy that I feel like I haven't and I think when you're in moments where you're like aligned with your purpose there's this bliss feeling where nothing matters and time doesn't matter and everything just feels right and that moment when everybody left and I was in that room by myself just trying to process it like it all just felt such blissful peace and happiness and I think I'll be reflecting on this for months <laughs> to come but for now I'm really really happy that it happened and I'm really honored I got to do it and that like the one hour talk was one thing but the hour and a half afterwards where I got to just have like one-on-one -on -one conversations and provide like one-on-one -on -one advice and like have that more intimate like connection with everybody that stayed like so many people stayed and they just waited I just I'm really happy and I think I need to do more stuff like this and I need to keep trying to give back however I can and try to help women however I can and try to make my lessons and like my mistakes and the shit that I've gone through like mean something and I'm just really grateful for today we need to go find a friend. Good morning, sunshines. It's Monday, as President Day. Our president is embarrassing, so obviously we're not celebrating President Day, but we are going to celebrate the fact that we have today off and we don't have work. I found some shopping places I want to go to in Boston. I just haven't really had a chance to go shopping in a while, so I thought maybe we would just make today a shopping day. I found some vintage stores, and then I found just some like regular stores you would find anywhere else. And I think that's what we're gonna do today. Let me show you my elf. If you know me, you know I do not wear jeans, but these jeans from Zara have been the exception to my jean hating vibes because they are so baggy. It doesn't feel like I'm wearing jeans. And this top is from Naked. I've been loving Naked. I've never really heard anyone talk about Naked. I saw, I got an email this morning. They're having a 40% off sale. So that is what I plan on like really shopping when I get back. But I thought I would see what damage I would do in real life before I started online shopping. But yes, let's go get coffee. I stumbled on this park. And it's so pretty. I wish it was warmer because I could sit here and read for hours. But I think Boston's growing on me. came back to the hotel because it started getting cold and I was like I cannot be out here I figured I would show you the little damage that I did I was way better than I thought I would be 
so I didn't do that much damage to be fair. We'd go to Brandy and that might be the oldest I have ever felt in my life. It was really a reflective moment standing in line with like really young teenagers. <laughs> Like, I feel like I was at a minimum 10 years older than everybody there. And I don't know if I had ever experienced that before. And I think this whole weekend has just reminded me of my fleeting youth. And that's just not a thing I have ever needed to think about before. So I'm probably going to be spiraling about it for the next couple of weeks. But it's fine. I don't think I have a thing about aging because I believe life is just only going to get better and I'm not somebody that looks back at my teenagehood and high school and middle school and undergrad or my masters and thinks that life used to be better. I actually would rather believe that my life is only getting better every year minus how shit 2024 has been. As far as aging, I think I'm only loving myself more as I get older. So it wasn't in a way where I was like, oh my god, I miss being like a teenager standing in line. It was just the, wow, I feel old. <laughs> Which is not a bad thing. It's just, I don't know, I'm like maybe I shouldn't kick out of Brandy. But I did need to get some kind of Boston merch. So I'm glad I found the shirt. I was hoping for like a Harvard hoodie or something, but I haven't really found anything good. So this will do. And I'm trying to get into red. I grew up with my mom hating the color red. So I never, ever, ever had anything red. And now I'm an adult. And I think red could be cool. Red could be fun. Red is just really loud. So as a neutral girly it's a lot for me but because this is darker i feel like it'll be fine so i got that and then i got this little black hoodie like super i feel like brandy is really good for just super basic basics but it's literally just this little cropped hoodie i feel like it would be good for the gym and then I thrifted these skim leggings, which are so fucking small. I tried them on and they stretch enough to fit me. I do feel like I'm going to rip the seams every time I put it on. So I doubt they will last me long, but it was like 20 bucks and I was like, not bad. I figured I was trying to get my use out of it while I could, but that was it. That was... I feel like that's not so bad for a whole day's worth of shopping. I've gotten a lot better at not over shopping because I feel like if it's not a hell yes, then it's a no. Because I buy stuff that I'm like, oh, like I don't hate it, but I don't love it. And then it just sits in my closet and I never end up wearing it. I try to try stuff on if I'm in-store shopping, which is rare because I don't really like in-store shopping. But if I'm in store shopping and I try something on and I'm like meh and I'm trying to talk myself into it, I'll rather pass. I found this super beautiful green North Face jacket. I love the color, but the fit was just mid, literally and figuratively. So I just couldn't talk myself into it. But yeah, I feel like the, the Boston trip's coming to a close, I think today revived and changed my opinion of Boston a little bit, especially mixed in with yesterday. And I've noticed that people in Boston are just really nice. Like everyone just talks to me, it's strangers talking to me and complimenting me and it was just really nice. But I don't know if that's reflective of the people as much as just reflective of like my inner self. And I think I need to figure out and reflect on this more so I could find the right words but one of my biggest observations of myself in my life is like I am somebody who is very magnetic both in a good and negative way like if I am internally dark I feel like I attract darkness like if I'm not mentally doing well I think bad shit keeps happening like I keep attracting bad stuff like things get delayed like 
little little things start happening if i'm in a bad mood and i'm in a bad mindset little bad things just keep happening and even though they're little they seem so much bigger and then they make me even more in a negative he headspace and it's a downward spiral but i've also noticed the same in the positive where I'm, if i'm mentally feeling grateful and i have gratitude and i have optimism and i have hope i feel like i like attract light and i would love to know if anybody else feels this way i've never heard anybody talk about it but i'm sure it must be a universal thing because so much of life and how we interact with our surroundings has everything to do with our perception of our surroundings so maybe today i just was in a better mindset so i attracted better energy i don't know i just feel like everyone was just so nice and i've been reading the julia fox book oh my god i love women and badass women and women who are overly sexualized in the media writing books <laughs> like i really never had much of an opinion of julia fox before reading this to be completely honest with you something about her was intriguing to me and i think reading this is further like answered why but i think media takes women and especially beautiful women and over sexualizes them and creates this narrative about them i think emily rachikowski i'm so sorry if i said that wrong did the same and i loved her book i think julia fox did the same and i love her book and i'm so proud of these women for narrating their own stories and being beautiful and being smart and being good writers and good reflectors and narrators and like, it takes a lot to not only write a book but to write a good book but because this is about her life it also made me really sad for all the stuff that she's gone through and at the same time has made me so proud of her someone i don't even know of her resilience and her ability to continue going on about life even with all the shit that she had to face from like childhood to teenagehood so i'm not done with it yet like i think i have that much left i hate finishing good books because then it makes me sad that it's over but i'll probably finish this sometime before i'm back in new york tomorrow but yeah i think boston ended up growing on me at the end of the day i think it was a trip that was needed i feel in a better headspace now leaving boston way better than the headspace i was when i got to boston on that first night when this <laughs> video first started so just goes to show sometimes you need to feel your feelings and sometimes you need to be sad and then you get up the next day and life is better so i'm grateful i'm grateful i'm grateful for this weekend and i'm really appreciative of you all for coming with me on this little journey cannot believe i spoke at harvard that's gonna be a crazy thing i think i'll be coming to terms with forever and the messages i have received from the girls since has made my heart even more full like someone said i was the role model that they never had someone said it was like the best workshop they attended in the whole weekend someone was like this a, i don't know just so many kind beautiful things from kind beautiful girlies and i'm just grateful so i think i'm going to edit it, end this video now and try to edit it and get it out tonight or tomorrow but yeah i hope you're all doing well and i'll see you again next time bye